Hi YouTube, it's uh, Mark here from Mark's Movie Reviews. Today I'm with Leo and we've got milk. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds weird. It does sound weird. Nah, we've okay. got milk. Um, yeah, this week we're reviewing Southpaw. Mm. So, like, what do I don't say? know what to say about it. Really? It's... I, I feel like the whole film could have been doing like a 20 minute it's very, film. Yeah, it's very predictable. Isn't it? Yeah. It's literally the most predictable film you could ever watch, I would say. Although, I suppose, even though it was predictable, you still were quite looking forward to it happening, yeah. what you knew was going to happen, happen. Yeah. I don't know. It's just if I... I mean, yeah. it's Sars, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, he's, he's basically like, um, he's like, uh, is he like, um, is he heavyweight? No, he's not heavyweight. Light he's heavyweight. Light heavyweight, boxer of the world, you know, champion, champion and everything. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, it, it, it starts off with him like in a fight, doesn't it? Like him getting ready and then him going into a fight. That's right, and yeah. Then he, he, knocks, like he knocks the dude out, doesn't he? Yeah, and it really it's, um, builds up the kind of relationship he has with his wife. Yeah, yeah. And then, well, it, it actually has it in the trailer, her getting shot. So technically that's not a plot spoiler at all. Yeah. Because she gets shot in the trailer if you see the trailer. But if you haven't, then I've just revealed it anyway. <laughs> but like, basically, his wife gets shot by the contender, like cause, uh, this fight that he has at the start. Oh, it's one of the, the contender's crew, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He basically um, shoots his wife, and then obviously it's he he ends up you know losing his boxing license or something. Yeah, he ends so, up losing his title, so he can't then afford yeah. to pay for his house. So yeah. he loses his house, then because he ends up on substances, he ends up getting. It is very, it's very generic sort of. Um, yeah, and it's the film's kind of almost revolves around him getting his daughter back, isn't it? Yeah, but she doesn't like. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want him to be yeah. dad and all that. It's it's just very predictable. Yeah, but I mean the director, he's done. Uh, I can't remember his name. He done um, Training Day. He's got a really like. Well, not confusing name. It's like long name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like he, he's done. Um, he's done Training Day. He's done uh, that Equalizer, the one with um, Denzel Washington. In it. Yeah. That was his last film. Antonio Fuqua, even though it sounds like really dodgy, but I think I said it. it was yeah, I stand way. correct. <laughs> But um, yeah, um, the performances were really good in this as well. Yeah, I, thought, I think the the best bits were where he was actually fighting because you were actually you know rooting for him, and but basically that like the the um, the guy that was the contender um, near the start, he basically fights him at the end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you 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 probably know now. You'll know the film. It. Like you you'll know what will happen like in the film. You know, at the end, anyway, because <laughs> it's like I said, it's like the it's probably the most predictable film you'll ever see. But like, obviously, Jake Jake Gyllenhaal is you know really good in it, and uh, Rachel McAdams is good as his wife. And you've got um, you know, is it uh, Forrest Whitaker who plays the you know the 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 gym guy? Yeah, I he trains him up. Yeah, I Forrest know Whitaker. Mean. Yeah, it's got a weird eye, hasn't yeah. it? <laughs> I don't think it's the sort of film you would regret going to see, but I don't no, think it's I mean, something it, you'd watch it's, again. <laughs> there was some questionable, I thought some of the, the, the directing was a bit questionable, like with some of the, some of the dialogue scenes, the, the camera like, was moving too fast between each of the characters, like when they were talking, I just thought it was a bit too fast. Did you also Do you know what I mean? mean? Directing was a bit, I mean, like he's, he's solid anyway, like mm. uh, the director, but I don't know, it's just... Certain scenes just felt a bit too like too rushed. Something I I can pick at it for. There, there was parts that they never really followed up on. For example, when they were in the gym, yeah, it wasn't about how that boy had no high or anything to go on, and the bloke was like, "He will keep your." You know, wait, wait. The um, they were in the gym. There was that young lad who was oh yeah, with who him. got yeah. Who said that he didn't have any parents or they'd been round or something? Yeah, and they kind of, they kind of made a big deal out of that scene about him spotting that. And then like the the training yeah. dude said to Jake Gillingham in the film, um, oh yeah, we'll keep your eye on him and let me know. And he's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I will do. But then nothing comes of it. They never ever refer back to it. So it's yeah, like, it just seems like a bit of an odd, odd scene. I mean, like it it has an emotional punch, so to say, but like it could have cut about. Like, it's it's 
Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't think of that. That was good. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, yeah, like yeah, like I said, that it has emotional punch, but like certain scenes needed to have been like cut out, like. I said to you yeah. then, afterwards, like halfway through, I I got really annoyed with it. I just got bored, you know. I just, I just wanted him to have the fight at the end and just like knock the guy's block off. That's all I wanted him to do. And then there was just like, just it, you know, he just plodded along. Like it was way too long. Like my mate saw it before I did, and he said it was like half an hour too short. And it's dead. It's too long. Right? Half an hour too long. Sorry. So yeah, they sh you know, he should they should have they should have cut it. I think it would have been better if they just. Stripped it down a bit, you know. Yeah. Cut out bits of, or made bits shorter than. Yeah. Were. But all I mean, okay, okay. What would you rate it? I gave on Rotten Tomatoes. I gave it three and a half stars out of five. But I'm thinking I'm going to lower it to three because solely because of like the the action, you know, the 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 boxing scenes in particular were really good. I mean, this is this is the first boxing film I've seen, so, you know. I'm getting that because apparently uh, *Raging Bull* is supposed to be the, like the best boxing film. That's what Scorsese that is. Oh right. But I haven't I, seen that. We'll have to we'll have to watch that next yeah. week. I was I'm gonna rate it three star, which makes it sound yeah. like it's not very good. But yeah, I, I mean still it's it, 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 <laughs> it's good, but it has its like. I thought the plot was. I wouldn't that, watch it again. Oh no, probably not. I just yeah, it's definitely not one of those films where you can watch all over. But the boxing scenes themselves were very good. I don't really very, know how very, they filmed um, that. Yeah, very intense. Like, yeah, it looks, looks like, like fight. Yeah, it looks like they're getting punched. I literally felt like I was watching a real boxing match. Yeah. I don't really know how they, you know, I don't know how they do that. It's um, it's very good though. Yeah, I think it's like I think it's just the way it's filmed. Like, you know, when they put they some, you know, sometimes when they go to punch, they cut it, don't they? But then like it cuts. Yeah, and they're being punched, but. But then you got like the knockout punch. And yeah, like, yeah. They do that. Maybe they use a dummy or something and then make it look like it's the actor. Like yeah. There. But anyway, yeah, I'd give it three yeah, stars yeah, as well. Go, go and see it if you like Jake Chenwell stuff. He's like, a very good actor. He's, he's one of the best at the minute. He's like amazing. Like, you know, he's got all different emotional ranges. And, and to be fair, hats off to him for getting built for the film. Oh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like. If you saw if you saw him like down a dark oh, alley, his last film was Nightcrawler. Yeah, and he like if you and see he's a little skinny, yeah, normal, healthy looking skinny. guy, and then yeah. in this one he's just he's like he, he's um, he's he's good for that sort of stuff. He's very like diverse with his like roles. He, he can do anything. I reckon. Yeah, like Christian Bale, like he did the exactly. Machinist. Then like his next one, he did Batman. I mean, that yeah. was even more extreme to be yeah. fair. But but yeah, it's good to see that some actors are really. You know, mm. change themselves just for their art, which is awesome to see. So yeah, um, we'll be back next week. We're, we're, do you know what we should watch Raging Bull next week? Or is that maybe an old film, is it? It's eighties, uh, I think, seventies oh. or eighties. Good. Do. There's nothing really new no. on in the cinema now that we haven't seen. Um, well, Terminator's on in the cinema. Or well, Fantastic Four. <laughs> Apparently, it's awful. <laughs> is it awful? I haven't seen it. Oh, have you not seen it? No. I was going to go see it on um, Sunday, but I went to go see that. Uh, so I, saw the, I saw the trailer and I was like, Absolutely. yeah. Nah. But um, yeah, well, I suppose we could go, to, could go and see uh, Fantastic Four, see how bad it is. See how negative these reviews can get. Yeah, I reckon we should do that. Yeah? yeah. Let's do it. All right, so Fantastic Four next week. And um, I don't know what else to say. Just, Just buy, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, um, <laughs> um, yeah I'll, I'll see you next week anyway, YouTube. Bye. Juggernaut.